Hello boys and girls and anybody else who may not have decided yet. It's DK with Mr. V Amps and today on the bench we have a Fender BXR100. Um, I already fixed this. I know, how sad. But I figured we'll just talk about it really quickly. Um, these solid state jobs, it came in with the fuse blown. And the owner was frustrated because it didn't have a fuse well, that's accessible from the outside anyway. So I replaced the fuse and it immediately went kaboom in a gla blaze of glory in a big bright flash. So I knew we had an ugly, ugly dead short. Um, I just brought out the meter in diode check mode that we use for continuity or shorts. I tested all four big old power transistors because it seems like those are always the culprit. But no, they tested okay. So I kept looking. I figured, well, okay, maybe it's in the power supply. So this is our mains fuse, and then there's our <clears throat> rail. It is center tapped here. So I should be seeing about 62, I believe I measured 62 volts across these two with that disconnected. So I knew our transformer was working. Um, I started checking around that little yellow capacitor. I got a dead short across that. This big electrolytic, I got a dead short across that. So I either removed or lifted a leg and checked them individually, and I did not find the shorts. So I just kept sniffing around for shorts, and lo and behold, it was one of our four rectifier diodes. Those were big old 6-amp rectifier diodes. Um, I replaced <clears throat> the, this is the one that was shorted, um, I switched them out to, uh, replace, you know, I had a replacements in stock that are good, but just a matter of sniffing through the power supply and finding that, and now the amp works fine. Um, it's quiet, it's not humming, it doesn't need filter caps or anything, this thing's from probably the late 90s, early 2s, see what's it say, it says tested by somebody else, somebody or other in 1999 so it's 22 years old but you know still it's capacitors can last 20 years it's usually 40 years that they're dead um, 30 to 40 years that they're dead unless they were made right at 2001 which I mean granted those would be garbage if they were Chong brand or something but they're Nichicon so you know reasonable quality capacitors they probably still have another 10 years life or something else in it but yeah all the way down to one um, rectifier in the bridge die in the bridge there huh. um, customer stated my silly kids again I can't this is this is relayed through me for the music store but my silly kids forgot to turn this off after playing with it and it stayed on all night which I've had amplifiers stay on for an entire week in fact if you backtrack I had a Fender TV 12 prototype that was mine it's my wonderful amp and my friend Dave, who actually owns one of these BXR 100s that I fixed on the channel a while back, but my friend Dave neglected to turn it off and it stayed on at the venue for a whole week. And all it did really was weaken the tube in that one. Of course, this is all solid state. But anytime something's on, you know, catastrophe can happen, I suppose. But uh, yeah, that's back to life. The remainder of what's to be done is just the speaker the mount the jack mounts on the speaker had popped loose I'm gonna take those hit it with a vacuum cleaner tidy it up a little bit put it back together and send it home but just a short happy video maybe give you guys an idea if you're dealing with solid state and you got a dead short and you got a fuse popper and your transistors don't check shorted it's time to start checking your power supply um, and the easiest way to start, you know, by checking your transformer is just to unplug your secondary and make sure you got voltage and then you know if your trans transformer is good. Had I popped these two and still boomed a, you know, had a fuse go kablamo, because this all the all the power's in here. This is just one primary to one secondary. So basically it's 120 volts down to about 60 center tap. So 30, 30, or 31, 31, 32, 32, something like that. Um, so, you know gives you an idea. So anyway, victory is mine and uh, we're just trying to get through all of this stuff. I figured I'd show you this, maybe it's a little bit of a learning experience, um, but uh, a meter on diode check can get you a long, long way. And this isn't some luxurious fluke meter, it's some $20 piece of crap I bought off of eBay. 
but I like the sound of the beeper, and it happens immediately. There's no beepy delay. Yay! Bye.